Hey guys, I wanted to kind of go over what's going on in the market. It's really important that we know that in today's situation. Um, home builder confidence tumbles to an eight year low. Why is that? Because, uh, you know, they, in, this, in this particular story from uh, housingwire.com, they talk about how, you know, the, the um, measure of sales expectations have tumbled quite a bit for the new houses. Uh, and then they're, they're seeing challenges and people don't realize with this particular virus, um, they're not being able to get, uh, supplies, uh, permits because, you know, cities, uh, just aren't working that much. They're still getting their checks, but they're not working that much. So they aren't going to get you the permits that fast. And also, uh, you know, there's many other reasons, workforce, many, many other reasons. So it's a, it's a perfect storm really for, uh, low inventory uh, stuff because if you look at the last paragraph here, that's what makes this crisis in housing different from a decade ago. We are all we are in an underbuilt market with a short supply. Unlike 2008, which everybody's talking about, we were overbuilt. We have way more properties than we needed. That means the housing has the potential to come back quickly and be one of the those sectors that will hopefully lead the economy in a rebound. So. Unlike 2008, we have way more, when we had too much inventory, we, we are really underbuilt in the inventory. And you can see here, there's a lot of news stories here's on that. Here's one from OnePage.com, same thing. Uh, and, you know, you fast forward and look at today, even the ones that are listed, this is today's uh, MLS. Um, there's, there's actually 816 properties that are under contract or sold. And there's only 316 houses that are listed, newly listed, so you can buy. So this has been a trend for the last few weeks that there's been more properties going off the market that's going on the market. So that's going to put pressure on pricing. That's going to put pressure on a lot of things. And when we get out of this particular uh, virus, the, the interest rates are still going to be low, and there's still people going to want to buy and rent. And so there's going to be a hard, there's going to be a mad rush to get real estate. That's why now is a good time to buy during this time. And, you know, it's about over, I think. But, um, you know, we need to really look at that and understand what we're dealing with there. And you can you can see uh, from, you know, you can look up the charts and stuff at, on the internet and find that, you know, a lot of it was uh, uh, this. This is from Fred, Freddie Mac. And you can see this is uh, 2006 when we had, we were really high. Then we went all the way down to nothing. And then we slowly went up, but we wouldn't even go anywhere near here and we didn't even go anywhere near here. Now it's going down again. So this is from Freddie Mac. It's just, it's not a good situation uh, for inventory, but it's a good situation for housing uh, pressures and prices for them to, to continue to go up. Um, so if you're looking for real estate, I'm an icon agent with EXP Realty 216-703-5740. You can go to cashflowrealtyservices.com and I have a website there. You can go a couple of uh, nice looking videos there, go through there. Or you, and then you can get an informational package. Um, but we do handle, we purchase the property. We rehab the property. I've had the same crews for nine years. Leasing services, second to none. It's on the MLS. It goes everywhere. We get top, top rent. And property management, which is second to none. We, we clearly has, we have the, the uh, best property management in Ohio, we believe, and, and we're getting that from our clients too. So again, sign in, get some more information, get your real estate portfolio going because after this is over, um, there'll be a mad rush to houses and you'll probably have to pay a lot more for it. 216-703-5740. 216-703-5740. Thanks.